Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use this, uh, one of our newest products on epoxyjewelry.com. It's a 3-in-1 micro torch. Um, for our purposes, what we're going to be using it for is, is a uh, flameless heat tool for popping bubbles. But it does have other features, and I'll go ahead and show you those real quick. If you were to light it as it comes out, it comes out just like this in these two pieces. If you were to light it as it comes out, it would be a torch. It would be a flame coming out of here. Uh, if you take this tip and screw it on and light it, now you would have a soldering iron. Okay? For our purposes, we want a flameless heat tool that just puts out hot air. So what I'm going to do is pull out just the soldering iron tip, and that makes our flameless heat tool. Okay? So now... Then we know that, we, um, oh by the way, it's got this little neat little stand on there to, so when it's hot you can set it down without burning anything. If you were to set it down like this, the tip might touch something. This does not come with fuel, but what it has on the back is a standard butane fill like you have on a, on a permanent lighter, not a disposable lighter, but you know, one that you would keep. Um, and so what I'm going to do, now this one's already got fuel in it, but I'm going to go through the steps anyways. Um, what you do is you take uh, butane fuel. This happens to be burns matic which is the brand name of the torch, but you can use any of them. And you push it down on here, and when you do, you're going to hear a hissing noise, and that's the fuel going in. And when you see a white sputtering coming out, then it's filled. Now, on an empty torch, a brand new torch, it'll take about 10 seconds to do it. This one's going to do it almost instantly because I've only used it for a minute or two. Okay, you see the white spurting out? That means that it's, it's full. Obviously, you don't want to be smoking or do this near a lit flame or anything like that because that white coming out is butane. So, now that our torch is, is full, um, we're going to need an ignition source. And so I'm going to grab a uh, lighter and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to show you how to light the torch. Um, if you look at, at the torch, you'll notice that there's a little window on the side here. And if you take this piece and, and push it forward, you can see that there's a hole through that window. And that's where we're going to light it. Now, on the back side, there's a, a heat adjustment or you know, just the amount of uh, butane coming out, and it goes from one all the way to four. Now, most of these torches will light on two, but you may have to play with it a little bit. Um, if you have too little, it'll never light. If you have it too high, um, the, the, it may light, and as soon as you take the flame away, it'll immediately go out. If it does that, then it's set too high, and what it is is there's too much, too much pressure going through it, and it's literally blowing the flame out. But two is a good, good place to start. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it on with the red button, hold this open, light my, my lighter, if it'll light, over here, and then go up to it. Now, I'm hoping you can see that flame in there. Anyways, there's a nice blue flame, and you hold this for about four or five seconds and then let it down. Now, that's going to do two things. When you held the flame on there for four or five seconds, there's a heating element inside, a catalyst, and it started the catalyst to glowing. And when you let it down, it put out the flame. So now the catalyst is glowing and burning in there and using the fuel, but it's, it's not on fire. There is no flame. And now, for our purposes, it's ready to use as a, a heat tool. You can see it's, it's, it's hot, but it, you've got to get a little bit close to it to, to get real hot. Now, if you're going to use this to pop bubbles, I'd turn this up to about three. And now it gets, gets pretty warm up out the end. And you can see that it's glowing much brighter inside now. And there is no flame now. So you can look in the side there, there's no flame. It's just the catalyst is burning up the, uh, the butane as it's being used. And of course, when you're done with it, you want to push the red button back. And that turns it off. It'll take a few seconds. Um, for the gas to stop flowing, and now you can see the, the red is, is gone. Now, of course, this is obviously very hot now, so you flip the, the little wire frame down and set it down. And when you're 
I don't have anything domed right now, but when you're when you're doing this, what you would do is we'll we'll assume that the top of this was was a dome. You would come up to it, and if there's air bubbles in it, you would go like this and just just get near it, like that. Don't hold it on it because you will eventually burn the epoxy. But you just want to get near it and kind of go like that until the until the bubble is gone. If the bubble was on this side, I'd do it this way. So that's pretty much it for the use of this tool, and. Uh, Hopefully everybody will get, a, get use out of it and thank you for watching.